Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to reuse some old jam jars. I'll show you how to make this lovely succulent room decor, this bobby pin organizer, and this rainbow stripes one. On my channel I am bringing you guys a new series called DIY Face Off. Every month or two I'll show you how to reuse an item three different ways. Definitely leave a comment down below of which item you want me to reuse in my next video. And without further ado, let's get on into the DIYs. First, I'm going to show you how to decorate the lid of your jar. So just trace that onto a piece of pretty scrapbook paper. Next, cut the piece of paper out and you're going to want to cut that wider than the actual jar of the lid. Next, cut little slits around the piece of paper like I'm doing here. And next, you're just going to want to glue your piece of cut out scrap of paper onto your jar lid. And you can use any type of glue. I'm just using some white glue. Taking some hot glue, I'm going to put some glue on the edge of the lid. And I'm just going to fold down the flap and do that around the whole lid. To make this rainbow stripes jar, all you will need is an old jam jar, some white glue, some food coloring, some tape, a palette, and some paintbrush. First, take your tape and I'm just going to wrap that around the jar. Taking my white glue, I'm just going to fill all the little sections in my palette and just add some food coloring to color that and mix it all together. This is optional, but I'm adding some glitter into my glue mixture just because it looks really cool when it's dry. Next, I'm just going to paint the glue onto the jar, and you can totally do any pattern like zig zigzags or something. I just went for stripes, and I'm just painting on all the colors. Peel off all the tape before the glue dries, and once your tape is all peeled off, you can go in with some of the paint and just touch up any mistakes. Then you can just let it dry. To make this pretty piece of room decor, you will need an old jam jar, or I'm also using this little glass pot, some fake succulents, an old toilet paper roll, some little rocks, or I also found this glitter gravel. You will also need some ribbon or trim and some hot glue. First, take an old piece of paper and roll that into a cone shape. Secure with a piece of tape and then taking some scissors, cut off the ends and also cut off the top. Cut your toilet paper roll so that it is smaller than the jam jar. Next, take some hot glue and just glue that to the bottom of the jar. Place your funnel inside the jar like this and just pour your rocks or gravel into the jar. 
and do that all the way around the jar. Take some succulents and just arrange those in your jar. And just hot glue those in place. To make my jar look more pretty, I'm going to take some ribbon and I'm just going to glue that around the jar. I am gluing a piece of lace around my jar and that's it, my jar is finished. For my other jar, I'm just filling it with some stones that I found off the ground and then I'm going to hot glue a succulent in the middle and I'm just going to hot glue a piece of rope around the outside. And that's it, my jars are finished. To make this bobby pin organizer, you will need an old jam jar, a magnetic strip, and some bobby pins. You will also need some hot glue. All you have to do is hot glue your magnetic strip onto the jam jar. Hold the magnetic strip in place until it dries, and that's basically it. Put your bobby pins onto the magnetic strip. I just tied a ribbon around the top, and I'm filling my jar with some lip balm. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I definitely hope you guys recreate one of these DIYs. Don't forget to leave a comment down below of which recycled item you want me to reuse, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!